unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. I think it's fair to say that you cannot call yourself a Black American unless you've watched at least one episode of Good Times. Now, of course, Good Times was a sitcom situated in the 1970s that featured an intact Black family with a mother, father, and three children. Of course, they lived in the ghetto, from what I understand. It was uh, supposed to be Cabrini Green, which is, was an infamous project in Chicago. It is no longer there, but they had their ups and downs. But most importantly, they loved each other. Well, it sounds like in 2020, Jimmy Walker, who played JJ, the oldest son, pitched an idea to producer back then, and he is now dead, Norman Lear, about a Good Times cartoon. I guess that's supposed to be progressive and all of that. Well, recently we've all, and if you haven't seen it, you should see it so you can, you know, really just be upset as you should be. They released a trailer uh, that is supposed to premiere the cartoon on April 12th. And in this trailer, which we can't show you for, you know, copyright infringement issues, but I'm going to explain it to you. There is uh, Florida Evans, which was played by Esther Roll, and she is not, no longer with us. But uh, this particular character, she's very, very ghetto, loud, talking. Uh, she's used the B word, called, you know, referring to other women as the, the B up in there. Um, and James Evans, well, he's a different cat as well. Very just just loud and just, ugh, right? And, uh, far different from that of James Evans that was played by John Amos. Now, uh, Michael, I guess, is supposed to be the baby in this particular cartoon. He's a drug-dealing baby. He's dealing drugs out of his stroller. He has gold chains, and he's always talking about getting milk from, you know, where originally milk comes from on a woman, right? He's obsessed with that. And so uh, they are doing the most heinous things you can think of. It's so stereotypical, right? And this is being done... In 2024, it is like the modern day uh, minstrel show, blackface. But you know what's even more surprising? Is that there is a copious amount of black actors that signed up to do it. J.B. Smoove is one. Um, Marseille, she's um, a, a young actress. You have Yvette uh, Brown, who's supposed to be this big time staunch Democrat. Um... Now, Wanda Sykes, who is a comedian, they signed up to do that. They decided to do that minstrel show. And the other part is the it's produced by, and again, Norman Lear is no longer here. He um, was had his 100th birthday party, and then he left the body here. But uh, Stephen Curry of the Golden State Warriors, you know, a black man, he's producing it along with Seth MacFarlane, who is the producer of Family Guy and some other cartoons, right? And so when I say that it is a minstrel show, I, I would even venture to say that it is worse. Now, Bernadette Stannis, who played Thelma on uh, the original Good Times in 1970s, uh, she was on TMZ and they asked her about it. And she said that she heard that the cartoon was going to be produced. Um, and sh she asked about like, well, are we going to be a part of it? And then Seth says, oh, we'll give you a small part of it. So they had a small part when she said like Jimmy was told, it's going to be progressive. It was going to be new and everything like that. And so she said she had questions because Thelma wanted to be a surgeon. Um, and I guess one of the babies in the cartoon is supposed to be hers or something like that. It's supposed to be the next generations. Uh, so she says, you know, it's unlikely that Thelma would have, uh, you know, a baby that's doing any of those things. So I don't know if the baby's actually supposed to be Michael, if that's supposed to be her baby. It's just kind of weird. It's all over the place. But nevertheless, she was like, no. And then, of course, J.J., he was an artist, right? He drew a whole bunch of nice paintings and things like that. So she was like, no, that was not what our children or our children's children, right, uh, would be doing. And so uh, she says that she want to reserve her full judgment until she sees more of 
uh, the cartoons, but she says she does not like what she sees because it is not progressive. And so I'm going to ask you all as black people to not watch that. I also want to ask you as black people to take Stephen Curry and Wanda Sykes and Yvette um, Brown. I think that's her name, Yvette Brown. Um, and all the other black people who are attached to that to task. Because back in the day, there was a man by the name of Lincoln Perry, who was also known as Step and Fetch It. He was the first black millionaire to become that from being an actor. Now, them folks made him that because he was dubbed the laziest man in the world, where he talked really slow and, I don't know, I, don't, I can't read, you know, that kind of stuff. And they loved it. So again, in 2024, we are seeing that same step and fetch it, sand, dancing, buttery biscuit, you know, behavior from black actors. And again, they signed up for it. They signed up for it. Now, there was another movie by the uh, name of uh, Magical uh, Negroes or something like that with David Allen Greer. And that was effectively canceled. They said the movie made about $2.4 million and it had been out for a while. And black people wholeheartedly says we are not going to accept that because I guess the movie, the premise was to uh, be more palatable to white people. And so black people was like, no, we're not watching that. So we need to do the same thing with this Good Times cartoon that is uh, mocking black Americans um, and making us look like something we are just not. So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of that. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube.